as we tour this brand new cruise, from the first-class staterooms to the superb cuisine and lavish amenities, with starting prices at $10,000, this is an expensive trip. Only a six-minute drive from the airport, Port Everglades, is where the Ritz-Carlton cruise departs from. Welcome to our channel, and before starting our tour of an exciting cruise, there is a small reminder. If this is the information that you are really interested in, don't forget to subscribe for notifications in any newly uploaded video and be till the end of this video so that you don't miss any important information. Now let's continue our discussion. The welcoming team will greet you and assist you with your luggage as soon as you reach the location. Then, all passengers are led to a hotel check-in after a quick security check. After receiving our room key and a delightful glass of champagne, we're free to board the cruise at our convenience. So far, everything feels calm but well organized. The first three brand new vessels. Evrima began sailing in October 2022 for the Ritz-Carlton Yacht Collection. The business anticipates that its new 298 passenger vessel will become as much of a destination as the port it calls on quaint, off the beaten path settlements like Miro in the Caribbean or Saint Tropez, France, as well as well known European cities like Barcelona and Athens. A trip on a Ritz Carlton yacht will emphasize the same individualized treatment that the business takes pride in at its land based hotels and resorts. It's designed for discriminating luxury visitors who are seeking a unique and immersive experience. Sweet Tour The suite on the Avrima will appeal to you if you want contemporary interior design with smooth surfaces, a variety of textures, and soft earth tones. For comparison's sake, this vessel is 624 feet long overall, about two-thirds the size of the Virgin Scarlet Lady and about half the height of the Empire State Building. There are 90 terrace suites in total on board. They are spacious for an entry-level cabin. Tilburg Design of Sweden was commissioned by the line to design its cabins. The emphasis is on pleasant open concept areas and natural light, offering a private vessel vibe reminiscent of the Ritz Carlton residences in Florida's Sunny Isles Beach and Miami Beach, as well as Los Angeles. A chilled bottle of Mort et Chandon will be waiting for you when you arrive at your suite. Before learning more about the details of your accommodation, make use of that on your private balcony. A king-size bed with luxurious fret linens, a digital flat-screen TV, a minibar filled with what you want, and an in-suite safe are features shared by all suites. A coffee machine as well as a variety of free, carefully roasted coffee and tea from the Illy Cafe and Daman Freres are included in each suite. Pillows that are hypersensitive are available on request. A double vanity, high-end bathroom fixtures, robes and slippers, a vanity mirror and a hair dryer are all included in the bathroom. You can order room service at any time. Every eating area on board is represented on the all-day eating menu and a late-night dining menu will additionally be offered. A personal receptionist is also appointed to each unit. For families and groups of friends sailing together, the boat also provides connecting and convertible suites. Additionally, the ship is covered in artwork and mostly abstract contemporary art, many of which are for sale. The key to enjoying this yacht experience is to take your time, both on board the ship and in the fascinating ports it calls at. The ship's aft marina platform, where you can rent a kayak or stand up paddleboard, is one of the most distinctive features. The marina terrace looks to be a well-liked place to hang out and observe the activities on the beach and within the marina. When the vessel is at anchor, the two rear platforms simultaneously fold out, adding more space for sunbathing and letting sea breezes into the marina terrace bar. Pools There are two pools on this vessel. The bigger one is on deck 5 beside the pool house and has a swimming area as well as a shallow area with curved seating. The smaller infinity pool is on deck 8 and is behind the Mediterranean restaurant Mistral. Three whirlpools are available, one on the spa terrace directly in front of the gym, another on deck 5 on either side of the pool. All of the outdoor areas are equipped with reef-friendly SPF 30 and SPF 50 sunscreen, as well as cooling aloe gel for anyone who overdoes sunbathing. Spa and Fitness Facilities The Ritz-Carlton Spa and Fitness Facility is located on Deck 9, where spa goers and gym fans will assemble. The facility has separate changing areas for men and women, indoor and outdoor spa treatment rooms, a relaxation lounge, as well as a women's salon and a men's barber. A variety of rowing machines, stationary bikes, treadmills, ellipticals, ropes, kettleballs and free weights are available in the gym, which is all the way forward. There are classes held every day in the fitness center. 
You can rent out the studio for some light-hearted fun and work out with pals using one of 1,500 video programs available on demand. You can register for private yoga classes and personal training sessions, including fitness consultations along with the exercise equipment. Dining establishments and restaurants. At full capacity, the boats can only accommodate 298 passengers, but there are a number of distinctive dining options, including SEA, which was created by chef Sven Elverfeld of the three Michelin-starred Aqua restaurant in the Ritz-Carlton, Wolfsburg in Germany. All restaurants use fresh, regional products and provide food inspired by the places the boat travels. Evrima Room The Evrima Room is the ship's primary restaurant, despite the fact that Ritz yachts won't have main dining rooms like you're used to seeing them aboard megaships' huge, cavernous spaces that pack everyone in closely during meal service. You can have a romantic meal here as a couple or join other guests in a welcoming atmosphere. The restaurant is on deck 4 to the rear and the seasonal menu will be available. Living room. Coffee drinkers plus snackers should commit to the living room on deck 4 to mind. You can hang out there or just relax in the plush chairs and read a book from the library. You can pick up pastries and other delicacies all day and night long, as well as freshly roasted coffee as well as espresso. The bar. There's a good chance that you'll visit the bar frequently. Enjoy a special cocktail or champagne toast to start each night of your journey and stop by for a nightcap after dinner. Are you seeking for something opulent? In this lounge, high-end champagne are served with caviar. Sports and entertainment. Naturally, existence on a yacht is a little more relaxed than it is on mega ships with dozens of bars, a comedy club, Broadway-style shows, karaoke, casino games and other amenities. Shows and theatres. There is live music available, even though there is no theatre aboard the ship. According to early accounts from travellers, evenings have been relatively quiet so far. Alcoholic beverages, onboard tips, Wi-Fi, all but one of the ship's eateries and the whole cruise fee are all included. This puts the ship on the path with other yacht cruises like the Scenic and Sea Dream Yacht Club. A humidor. A cigar bar can be found on most opulent ships and Evrima is no exception. Premium Cognac is offered along with hand-rolled cigars at the humidor on deck 10. This boutique. The boutique is located on deck 4, however, Evrima doesn't have a true mall in the same vein as Royal Caribbean's Royal Promenade. Leading premium brands and artwork created by regional artisans are promised by the line. Observation Terrace. On deck 10, directly in front of the Observation Lounge, lies the Observation Terrace. You may get a bird's eye view of the ship from this vantage point. There are numerous cozy seating spots where you can get a drink and connect with people you've never met. Laundry. Pressing, laundry, including dry cleaning services, are chargeable extras that can be requested through in-suite facilities. On deck 9, there is a self-service guest laundry where you can use an iron, a washer, a dryer and detergent for no extra charge. I hope you've enjoyed the round trip that we've taken on the Ritz-Carlton Luxury Cruise. Thank you for being to the end of this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and tell us what you think about this video down in the comment section. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.